Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. We will look into news from Germany, surveys, Giga Berlin and also look into Fremont. So what's interesting is that Fremont is actually working kind of like in a shadow. We don't focus too much on it. We focus on Austin, Shanghai, Giga Berlin. But the success of Tesla started in Fremont and sometimes it's good to look back and we have updates for, for the Model Y and as well here a record amount of 20 double decker trailers. That might not sound much if you look into Shanghai, if you look to Giga Berlin or Austin, but for Fremont, for that tiny place that they have there, that is enormous, that is very good. So this really shows why Tesla is so successful. Fremont is a masterpiece how they handle this tiny space that they have. As well as they're going to have an update, there will be wood door panels for the Model Y from Fremont, something we have already in Germany because we get all the cars from Shanghai. Again, this is an update for the United States market and Canada. So this is as well good news for you guys if you are from those two countries. So we're going to continue now because demand was a big discussion um, over the past weeks, it has always been a discussion. Many car makers actually made stopping people to buy the car. So they pretty much canceled the availability of buying a version or a car because they couldn't handle the production. Now, Tesla cannot handle the demand. They can handle the production itself, but the demand is so high that they are not even able to get after that. So. Tesla really has to stop here. The availability is 2023 for the Model 3 long range. So what I do expect is, is that something similar could happen over the next few weeks with other models if the demand is not declining. So it really could happen. Is there any update coming? Will be there any updates for the Model 3? I don't think right now. If they would do that for all Model 3, I would kind of think maybe they're going to start with new painting, new colors, but this would not make any sense if they just have one version being not available. But again, guys, insane demand. And talking about demand, wait times in Europe are very long, especially for performance variant. And we have here now confirmation from Tobias Lind. You see a lot of Model Y long range and performance. So that is the good news. Again, guys, lots of frustration regarding the wide seating, especially the delivery times here until 2023 and as well the delivery times for other colors. Again, I really hope you can stay patient with me because I cannot um, deal with that because Tesla is doing it. I just try to get any information as soon as possible. If I have anything, I will let you know. You will be the first knowing that to be honest with you, because I know people inside the factory. So do consider subscribing if you want to keep, be kept updated. Now we look into a German survey of bearing point and they are pretty much saying which company would you take into consideration buying an EV? You see in blue it is 2022, in light blue it is 2021. Tesla is gaining ground here. It is very exciting. VW, Seat and Skoda are actually declining a little bit, but Tesla is pretty much close to the second spot. And that is the home market of VW. You cannot expect being already first at such a fast time because Tesla is not established for a long time in Germany yet. So take that into consideration. That is a very good result. So the brand awareness, people um, knowing the brand and thinking about buying a Tesla is very high. But again, guys, keep in consideration there are many people, 30% of people um, were actually saying they don't want to buy any car. And that is what we see with the ICE car sales. They are declining. And if they want to buy a car, 
it is actually an EV and not an ICE car. So price is a discussion. We know that. A lot of Möglichkeiten is pretty much charging, but I think that is going to decline as well. It has been increasing. I don't know why. Um, should be decreasing. Range is not such an issue anymore. So EVs are actually not being bought or not bought anymore because of range anxiety, but still it is in the third place. But I think there's a lot of convincing to be done so people actually know they don't have to have any range anxiety. When it comes to uh, that are the reasons why people don't buy an EV. So I believe, guys, if that is actually going to decline, there's nothing that can hold back Tesla anymore. Nothing that can hold back companies investing in EVs. Um, these were the three factors I just mentioned to you based on a survey. Then looking into China, Sarah Merritt made his great work um, counting again the cars. So it is a new record. We have 8,800 cars over here. Remember, he did that a few weeks ago, one time already. It was around about 7,000 cars. So it looks like we get more cars, more production. What a surprise. Upgrade happened. We see now more cars, cars out there, and that is exciting. For Australia, guys, I have good news now. Finally, I can confirm with you already right now a new shipment happening, which is Asian Vision. It will be the next shipment to Australia. I think as it was just shipping right now and leaving, um, I think it will be actually Model 3 and Model Y. We have seen a lot of cars there for non-European countries, especially with the um, steering wheel on the right side. So that is just confirming it is for Australia. Now we have more cars here from Vuva. The footage is coming from yesterday and we have more shipments. So the Asian vision, you see that is going to Australia. Then we have Glovis Companion, RCC Antwerp, Höchst St. Petersburg, Glovis Summit and Morning Chorus, all you guys in the UK, keep being as excited if you have a VIN. Those two shipments are going to go to Southampton and some of these cars supposedly are going to um, Zeebrugge as well. We still have to wait for confirmation. So I'm excited. There is a lot of good news, guys, um, especially for Giga Berlin. But again, guys, ramping up a factory, we know that it is not easy. Not everybody is working um, as crazy as the Chinese do here. That was actually an exemption. But we see based on Austin and Giga Berlin, it takes some time. I hope it's going to be fast and I hope that the delivery times will not be worse um, for you guys not having the current configuration that are produced in Giga Berlin. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time. If you do enjoy my channel, I would really appreciate as well if you do hit the subscribe button. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Take care.